In this video, we're going to do is use the method of virtual work to calculate forces in a system. Uh, basically, it's used when the system is in equilibrium and it's acted by different forces. So to start off, we can consider a single point which is in equilibrium. So we apply a force F, let's say F1 to the right, and then we're going to apply another force F2 to the left. So it's very clear that the force F1 needs to be equal to the force F2 for the system to remain in equilibrium, right? So what we do is at this point, we give a small virtual displacement. So what we do is take this point here and then move it to the right by a small distance. Let's say we move it by a small distance D. So it's, we know the work done is basically the product of the force and then the displacement. So we're going to have the work done by the force F1, let's call it W1, will be equal to F1 times D. Similarly, we can calculate the for work done by the force F2, which in this case is going to be F2 times D. So the point to note here is that since the work done, or rather the displacement is against the force F2, we, can, we need to give it a negative sign. So by conservation of energy, we all know that W1 plus W2 is equal to the total net work done by the system or increase in the internal energy, which is zero. So what this means is that F1 minus F2 times D would be equal to zero, which basically says F1 equal to F2. This is kind of a well-known equation, so this basically boils down oops boils down to this equation over here so it's fairly straightforward if it's just a single point which is moving and all the forces uh, contribute uh, basically all the forces move by the same distance so we're going to consider a slightly different example now we're going to consider a pulley where the forces are going to move or uh, uh, by different different amounts so let's see so we have a pulley over here and then we have a rope to the left pulley is fixed over here and then we have a rope to the right and then uh, what we do is we apply a force F on the pulley so we need to apply a tension on the pulley to keep it in place which is T so let's see what happens if you use the method of virtual work so what happens I'm going to use the blue pen here so I'm going to assume that the pulley starting at this point over here gets moved down let's say over here so this distance here to the left if you mark this as D so let's say this is D so it's very clear that the right side also needs to be the same distance D so what this means is if we have a section of rope that gets added to the left we need to have the same distance of rope added to the right so so if the f basically has moved from here to here so it's moved by a total distance t so f has moved by a distance t so what does t move T starts over here, but then the rope gets elongated by distance D to the left and then another distance D to the right. So if you look at the distance moved by the T, it's basically D to the in the left side plus another D on the right side. So the total distance is basically 2 times D. Right? So F basically moves by a distance D, which causes T to move by a distance 2 times D. So we can calculate the work done by the two forces. So we have work done by F So let's le work done by F which is F times D. So since we assume that the pulley basically moves along the same direction as the force this is basically a positive work. Similarly, we can calculate the work done by the tension. 
um, that needs to be equal to t and then the total distance moved by this point over here is 2 times d so we need to multiply by 2d and and then uh, this is the work done by the tension so notice that um, using these two we can calculate the, um, the total work done in this case the work done here needs to be negative So the work here needs to be in negative and so the total f work done is the sum of the two works which is t minus 2 which is 0. So if you do that Uh, we have the force or the work done by F over here and then the work done by tension over here. So what this means is if we can cancel out the tension or rather if we cancel out the total distance so F minus 2T needs to be 0 or we can say T is F over 2. So this calculation you can kind of <coughs> do the same calculation in a different way so we can do the static equilibrium of the pulley over here so this is my pulley i'm applying a force f so it's very clear that i have a tension to the on the right side so notice that we have another rope and for the rope we have to another basically the rope has the tension and the tension acts on both sides In that case what we have is 2t needs to be equal to f or f or t is f over 2 so either by using the static equilibrium or the method of virtual work, we get that the tension is half the force. So this is the this is known as the mechanical advantage of the pulley. We can do a similar exercise um, using levers. So imagine that the lever is fixed over here, and this is my lever. So imagine I'm going to apply a force. Um, let's say I'm, I'm playing a force F2 and then halfway at the halfway point I'm going to apply another force F1 since this is the halfway point if this point basically moves by distance X so this basically moves by a small distance this basically needs to move by twice the distance over here so this again is the mechanical advantage of the of, of the lever we can calculate that f2 would be half of f1 so we can basically extend this as long as we know the relative displacement between the two forces um, the the work done will be in the inverse ratio or rather the work done needs to be equal and then the forces would be in the inverse ratio.